Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel Esoteria Healing. Today I'm going to talk about my experience with Archangel Michael. If you don't know who Archangel Michael is, so the word Michael means like God and Archangel Michael is one of the highest angels. I don't have a great in-depth knowledge about him. When I was raised as a Hindu Sikh but he has entered my life in many different ways and he has shown his presence to me in many different ways throughout my time that I have been practicing Reiki and many people comment on this fact that Reiki is not Catholic it has no relation to the church or anything then how come I am talking about angels in relation to Reiki you know that is a Japanese technique and I want to say to them that energy healing is universal Reiki does not belong to a particular religion. It is not limited to a particular religion. Beings like Archangel Michael or deities, all of these beings, they are higher beings and they are available to everyone. And these beings, they hold specific energies. And since you channel very high vibrational energy with the Reiki, it is very natural to attract all these angels in your practice and in your work with the clients. In fact, the Reiki symbols are associated with the energy and vibration of particular angels. And I will talk about them in another video in detail when I talk about Reiki and Reiki symbols. So Archangel Michael is associated with a particular symbol. And I call upon Archangel Michael. I invite him during every Reiki session, every Reiki attunement, every Reiki class to help protect me and my students and my clients during the whole session. This happened on December 25, 2019. That is when I had a very special Reiki class for two of my students and they are one of my best students till date. And these attunements were very, very powerful. And I don't know if that was because of my energy, my students' energy, or it was because of the date being 25 December, you know, Christmas. What happened was that when I started the relaxation meditation just before the attunement, when I was sitting with my eyes closed, I saw a, something like a red purplish flame come from above and just settle down on the floor, just like a snowflake, you know, gentle but firm. When I was drawing the Reiki symbols in the air during the attunement, I never felt Reiki energy in such an intensity before it was like fire coming out of my hands when I was drawing those symbols and I could sense the energies all around us the room itself got very very heated and even my students with their eyes closed could feel the energy of symbols coming to them from my hands and they ended up crying during the attunement and when the attunement ended I asked them, you know, why were you crying? What did you feel? And one of my students on that day, she was a natural clairvoyant. So she, she could see things very easily. So she told me that she saw something like a throne in my living room, just under the ceiling. And there was a person sitting in the throne wearing a warrior kind of a dress with a skirt. And he had huge wings on his back. And she said that there were angels standing on his both left and right side and then there were few angels on the top like in the clouds they were dancing and they were making some very intricate movements with their dance and there was music going on and that was a very heavenly feeling for her even though she could see that it was happening in the clouds but all of this was still somehow in my living room she told me that and i was filled with tears because I realized that it was Archangel Michael who had arrived and he was sitting on the throne and his back was facing us before but then the throne turned like that and he faced us and smiled and he also had a sword in his hands so it was for sure Archangel Michael and we all felt the energy in the room during the attunement and I felt so good that all of us together could um, gather such energies and invite in Archangel Michael into my living room which was amazing and I was out of words at that time 
and she ended up crying from all the unconditional love and the energy that she was feeling at that time from that point on my belief in reiki and my belief in myself really became stronger because i knew that i was doing something that is life changing for not just me but for other people also adopting a lifestyle where you are constantly working on yourself and raising your vibrations it can actually take you to a very high vibration and sometimes that vibration can match with the divinity when it does that's when you can see miracles happening in your life and after that day actually i kept seeing the word michael everywhere the word michael was everywhere i looked although it's quite a common name but i never heard or seen the word the name michael before as much as that week or 10 days and other than that i have had experiences with divinity such as lord krishna that i talked about in my video where i talk about my paranormal experiences in my childhood and also i have had experiences with the lord ganesha and goddess lakshmi although i didn't see them coming down but i have felt their energies as soon as i sit down to pray and i also had physical evidence shown to me in the form of people coming into my life to help me in the exact situation that i asked for and in the exact way that i asked for and the person who was helping me was also a devotee of lord ganesha and goddess lakshmi so it was like confirmed that this person has been sent into my life to guide me because i asked for it then one time my husband wanted to get a tattoo of uh, lord ganesha on his arm but he was like should i get it or should i not get it so i have these deck of cards that are called the keepers of the light i'll show it to you sometime so that deck has a card of lord ganesha in it so i told him let's ask the cards you know let's see what happens so i shuffled the cards and i gave the cards to him and i told him ask a question and then pick one card out of the deck and let's see what happens so he asked his question in his mind and he shuffled the deck himself he always picked the cards with numbers so he was holding the deck like this and asking me what what number should i pick and on this side of the deck the side which was on my side there was the card of lord ganesha so he was asking lord ganesha directly should i get a tattoo of you or not and there was lord ganesha right on that side which was facing me and he hadn't even picked a card yet and he already got his sign that yes go ahead you know have it <laughs> i have had a similar experience with the same deck of cards afterwards when i was praying to lord ganesha once it was ganesh chaturthi and i already regularly prayed to lord ganesha and on that day it was ganesh chaturthi so i just sat down to pray and i immediately felt a warm kind of energy washing all over me and it was very relaxing and uh, you know full of love and a feeling of uh, that i am being supported so that kind of energy just washed all over me and i felt the urge to open my deck of cards and just pull a card and i just opened my deck and i shuffled the cards and i pull out a card and there he is you know i again get the card of lord ganesha and you know it's not even a yes or no card it's straight away the card of lord ganesha so things like that keep happening other than having experiences with specific deities or angels my whole life is like blessed with divinity and i experience that divinity in many ways even small little ways and big ways all throughout my life and i have been able to uh, change my life from a very low point to a very high point now and for the past few years we have manifested a lot of things that we needed and i am at a place where i can manifest very quickly now and those things which are not quick to manifest i know that there is something that i need to heal in order to topple that wall over and then manifest that thing which i have been blocking right subconsciously although so it's not like you know the divinity is only going to come to you in the form of a deity it 
can come to you in any way even if you find a penny lying on the floor somewhere that is a blessing and if you don't see that if you don't see things like that in your life then you know you are missing out on opportunities to send out gratitude to the universe and you don't need an opportunity to send out gratitude you can send it even without receiving something even without um getting this these kinds of experiences but when you do send a gratitude after you experience something like this it's just on another level right why would you miss that so i'm very happy to share my experiences with you guys and if you want me to talk about a particular topic if you want to request a particular topic you can always drop that in the comments i will read all the comments and reply to everyone and that's all for today and i'll see you next time